Uh, what a story it was yesterday to see the events unfolding in Christchurch, New Zealand. More than 65 dead in a quake. Uh, it could be the closest thing, though, however, we have seen yet to what's considered an earthquake alarm. How could an early warning system have helped? Adam Housley went to California startup company uh, developing the technologies live in Palm Springs now with more from there. Adam, what you find? Well, Bill, I found a pretty good system here. In fact, one that potentially could save thousands of lives if it had been instituted in New Zealand, for example. It could give you as much as a minute warning before an earthquake, even if you only have 15 seconds, Bill. Imagine being able to be warned 15 seconds before an earthquake, to get outside, to get your kids under a table, to move important equipment like fire trucks outside of the station. In fact, we're going to show you the system here in the actual alarm. Uh, Blake Getz is a former fire chief. He's going to show that in a minute. First of all, here's the sensor at the bottom. It goes up and around, and there's a box on the other side of the building here at the fire station in Palm Springs. If they both detect movement, that would set off the alarm. Now, Blake, go ahead, give us the alarm, and then we'll uh, go right. from there. We're going to trigger it right now. So he triggers that alarm. Let's say, for example, in this scenario, this practice that 30 miles away a quake was detected. There are two waves. There's an S wave and a P wave. The P wave is what comes first. It, you don't usually feel that, but it's what would set off the alarm. The S wave, which comes a few seconds later, would then be the one that's more destructive, and that would send out a sensor, right, like to every other station around? That's right. All five stations in Palm Springs and seven in the Riverside County area here all receive the P wave signal that allows us to have early detection of an earthquake before the shaking starts to be able to get our personnel and safety to get our apparatus out of the station because we know that there's likely going to be a, a damaging shake uh, from this large earthquake and that we want to be able to get our equipment out so that we can put out the fires and help the people. At the, on the Mexicali earthquake, they were stuck in the station for, tw for 20 minutes, couldn't get out. And also this, the idea, too, Bill, is not only to have detections, but to have this, these signals go to schools, to go to your home, potentially, so everybody can prepare for an earthquake when it comes. Wow, Bill? good to know. Adam, thank you. Adam Housley trying to get that technology better and better and save lives. Thanks. Martha.